Much like Skyrim, the vanilla release of Fallout 4 VR is massively underwhelming and lacking when it comes to essential VR quality of life features and systems. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not throwing any shade at Bethesda for this. I think it's crazy that we even have all of Fallout 4 available to play in native official VR. That is bonkers to me. We don't have games like this in VR. And Bethesda have supplied us with two. We have Skyrim and Fallout, completely playable in VR. They're massive, expansive open worlds available to us as VR players that we can explore to our heart's content, do all the quests, do all the content. It's huge. Two massive RPGs, completely playable in VR. I will always be grateful to Bethesda for that. However, the vanilla game is very lacking. I do think most non-fussy VR players could probably load into this today, play it and have a pretty decent time if they can ignore some of the shortcomings. All of the shortcomings. There are a lot of shortcomings. I am not one of those VR players. I need things like full body rigs, I need better UI, better gun handling, just better controls in general, and I also want my games to look as good as possible. So today, for the first time, I have modded Fallout 4 VR with an expansive list of about 273 mods, I think it is. Now, this is the first time I've done this, which is crazy to me really, because I'm a much bigger Fallout fan than I am an Elder Scrolls fan, but I've modded Skyrim to death a thousand times over and never considered doing the same to Fallout 4. Now, I don't really know why that is. I do think that Skyrim VR gets far more love than Fallout VR. I think it's quite easy to forget that we actually have a fully-fledged official Fallout game that we can play in VR because not a lot of people talk about it. It does get forgotten about, whereas Skyrim just continues to roll on as probably the best VR game that we have and it's beloved by all. And Fallout just kind of sits there and people forget that it exists. And that includes me. So today I'm checking it out with these 270 odd mods to see how viable it is in 2024 and just see how it plays as a proper VR product. Oh man, yeah, that looks like Fallout all right. Oh, it looks so good. It definitely doesn't look as beautiful, like as immediately beautiful as Skyrim VR does when it's modded. But Fallout has a completely different tone. You know, this looks like an irradiated wasteland. It looks like a place that has been through a nuclear winter. It looks bleak as hell, and I absolutely love it. Now, I can tell that, um, yeah, the visual upgrades are kicking in. Those mods are doing some serious work right now. Right, let's get stuck in. Now, I'll just talk about the mod that I'm actually using here, or mods that I'm actually using here, uh, briefly. This is a one-click install Wabberjack pack, um, which is called the Mad God Overhaul. I think that's what it's called. It used to have a different name, I believe. I think it used to be called the Minimalist, or Ultimate Minimalist Texture Pack overhaul something like that but it's now called the mad gods overhaul um and i picked it because it focused in on lots of visual upgrades however i will say it's a strange mod pack because tons of the mods and i mean tons like probably a hundred of the 270 actually replace things that make fallout fallout with call of duty assets and sounds as well as turning creatures that you would run into in the wasteland into people. I don't know why you'd want to do that. You're removing the special source that makes Fallout Fallout and you're turning it into just another modern military shooter. So I removed all of that crap. Um, didn't want any of that shit. Uh, <laughs> I want to be running around in the wasteland and have a weird little cockroach creature attack me. You know, I want to see rad roaches and bloat flies. I don't want to see generic people replacing them. That's so boring to me. Um, and I don't want to see kind of shiny modern military weaponry. I want weird cobbled together guns that have been made with like two bits of pipe, a little bit of duct tape, and a block of wood. Like that's that's my idea of a Fallout game. Like. I want weapons, you know, that look like that, that look crappy and old. That is that is Fallout to me. So, 
if you do download this pack via Wabberjack, just bear in mind there are lots and lots of things in it that replace items in the game with Call of Duty style assets. I really don't remember Fallout 4 being as covered in lush green vegetation as it is right now. Surely that's just one of these mods that's doing this, right? I could be wrong. Um, I haven't played Fallout 4 in an absolute age, but it looks way more luscious than I remember it being. I really could be wrong. Fallout 4 is my least favourite of the modern Fallout games. It's the best mechanically and visually by far, but... It isn't really an RPG, not for me anyway. Like, I think in this Fallout game, almost every situation and conflict is resolved by just shooting someone in the face. Um, it's very rare that you can kind of talk people down or change the outcome of a situation uh, using charisma or something like that. It, it pretty much is just shoot people. Now, that is a Fallout weapon. Look at it! It's a piece of wood with a couple of rusty nails in it. How does that make a gun? I don't care. Now we can two-hand. Two-handing is a little bit wonky. You're just kind of clipping a hand on it to stabilize and you can unclip, which is fine. Now I am supposed to be going to this assembly plant to kill some people. That's my mission, but I could just explore and see what I can find. I'm kind of tempted to just explore. And then maybe I'll go to the, to the mission place afterwards, but I kind of want to run into some weird creatures. Here we go. We got some, is this rad stags? We got some rad stags, is that what these are? It looks like rad stags. I'm going to shoot them, I'm going to shoot them in the face. I'll say one of the mods tried to replace these with people. Oh my god! And that's way less fun, right? Like, oh, look at his head go. Way less fun. Oh, he's just sitting down. I feel bad now. Oh, his head's gone. Oh, I just feel, I feel awful. I feel like an awful human being. Um, yeah, way less fun to run into just generic military person than a creepy two-headed deer creature. I want the freaky stuff, you know, that's what makes Fallout Fallout. Weird little creatures running all over the place and trying to take me down. What can we find? Where can we go? There has to be something nearby that's just like filled to the brim with death claws or ghouls or rad roaches or myalurks. I wouldn't mind finding some myalurks. I do like myalurks. Oh, raiders, hello. Nah, we're just going to just shoot you all because that's how things are resolved in this game. Yeah, you're dead, you're dead. Yeah, you're all dead. That's it. Gosh, uh, I don't want to... I don't want to loot him, I want to shoot his head off. That's it. And you. That's it. There goes There goes your head. And you now. Boom! Boom! Heads are gone. Right, what do I want? Do I want... Uh, okay, I'll take the shotgun. I'll take the cocktail. I'll take the stim pack. Uh, oh, dog meat! Nice of you to join me, mate. You missed out on the battle, but uh, you turned up for the spoils. Typical, typical dog behaviour. What we got here? Sunshine Tidings Co-op. Oh, this looks like a friendly place. I don't want to find friendly places with friendly people. I want to find horrible places with horrible people and monsters and grimy shit. Hello! How's it going? Wow, man. Can I shoot you? Oh, bad idea. Bad idea! Ah! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I didn't mean to! I did mean to. I definitely meant to. Reload your gun! Kill the robot! Kill the... Oh, shit. I'm out of bullets. I'm out of bullets, I'm out of bullets. What have I got, what have I got, what have I got? Get the shot, yeah, that'll do. Take that, you stupid robot. Okay, hopefully. Hopefully that will go unnoticed. Uh, I'll take the fuel. Yeah, that's fine. I think that's probably gone unnoticed. Where did you come from? That Brahmin, I swear it wasn't there. Maybe I'm just blind. Okay, hello. Yeah. Hello there, you alright? Uh, trash can, Carla. You look way too clean. I think I've left on some mods that make people look like plastic people. Oh my god. You wouldn't look like that. In the bloody wastelands. Gone through a nuclear war and you're so shiny, your makeup's perfect. Oh no, dogs. That was a good shot, nice. D don't bite my dog, you stupid dog. Okay, we killed the dogs. I saved the pristine looking caravan yeah. woman. Oh, I don't like it. I need to remove that mod. They're too shiny, look at that. This is what I mean. If you install like a one-click Wabberjack pack, it's great because lazy people like me can do it with one click and Wabberjack does all the work. But you get weird stuff like that. Like that doesn't look like Fallout to me. Why is she so clean? This does definitely have the same sense of wonder that Skyrim has. Oh, in VR when you're walking around just exploring. It's just such a massive game, you know. We don't have games like this in VR. These huge open world RPGs. It's so rare. What do we have over here? Some kind of little city. <gasps> is that a Super Duper Mart? I think it is a Super Duper Mart. I'm going to go in there if I can. I love Super Duper Mart. Oh. This is so cool. 
Right, there better not be any ghouls in here. Or people. Or nasty things. Guy looks terrifying. Looks like I've already been in here because there's a lot of dead ghouls around. I've definitely already been in here. I can't remember what I've done in this save file. Um, <laughs> everything's dead. Maybe all the creatures in the entire world are already dead. Nothing left for me to fight. That's a real shame, isn't it? Oh, it looks amazing. Oh, they're not dead! You're not dead! Why are you not dead? Flipping heck. Flipping heck. Are we good? Oh, what are you doing? Oh, sugar. Yeah, that's cool. The combat's actually really nice. Ah! Christ on a bike! Jesus! Okay, yeah, this pistol is pretty cool. Where are you going? Don't hit my dog. Okay, they weren't—they weren't all dead. They—they—they they, they, they weren't all dead. Um, there was a, a couple of couple of little zombie men alive. Probably more then. Okay, be careful. Hello. Oh, jeez! Leave my dog alone! Come on, load your gun, you stupid knob! Now, I do wish you could do manual reloads. I mean, that would be a big one. That would be great, like grabbing ammo, slamming it in, that kind of thing. That would be great. But um, you know, we can't—we can't have everything. There actually might already be a mod for that. I don't know. Uh, Alright, okay, let's remember if we pick that. Oh, hell. Oh, hello! Where were you when I was out there a minute ago? You cheeky little bastard. Right, I'll blow someone's face off with this shotgun. I do love shotguns in this game. Hello? I can hear them. Oh, they're coming in through the bloody windows. Hello, mate. Ah, Jesus! Yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> oh, it's so good. So bloody good. Oh, we got here. Baby... Mate, creeping in like that, you freak. No, I didn't like that one bit. Oh, right, I'm glad there's creatures in here because I wanted to do some combat. But at the same time, I'm also not glad that there's creatures in here because they freak me out. I can hear another one. Hello, mate. Jesus Christ. They do not mess around. What? Where do you guys keep coming from? Matt? You're not alive, are you? Better not be. Oh, load your gun, load your gun, load your gun. This is filled with flipping zombies. Call of Duty zombies. Are you dead? Yeah, you're well dead. Oh, she got holotape. tape. I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take that. You got any? Uh, yeah, I'll take that. What's this? Laser musket. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take everything you've got. Thank you very much. Loads of tri oh, Do you want to go out there? Hold on. Let me go on the terminal. Uh, yeah, just use that, please. Open the door. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Right, I got a laser musket from that woman. I might try it. Okay, let's uh, add it to my favorites that's pretty cool that's pretty great i love that i've only got like 71 bullets oh you gotta keep racking them in you there we go spin it see this is the stuff i love all this weirdness you know weird freaky weaponry why would you want to replace that with a boring like ak-47 or modern assault rifle why would you want to do that if you do that surely you don't want to play fallout that's a turret. Oh, jeez. Okay, that dealt with that quite succinctly. That was uh, straight to the point. Hello, who's shooting me now? Oh, hello. Oh, sorry. Let me wind me gun up. Let me wind me toy gun up. <laughs> it really sucks to be you. All right, who else is here? Am I dying? Am I dying? Oh, I'm all right for now. I think I just killed my dog. Um, oh, another one. Whoa, this laser musket is an absolute beast. Who's here? Oh, come on, don't die. Hey, 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 hey. Don't die. Oh, don't. Hey, piss off. Trying to save me dog's life. You stupid knobber. Right. Um, I love this. This is my new favourite gun. It absolutely vaporises people. Look, that's all that's left of him. Just a pile of shit. There's someone up there behind that bloody Nuka Cola sign. Is that a super mutant? Oh, I don't know what that is. There's something big up there, though. How do I get up there? Right, I need to get up there. That is my new mission. Get up there. Kill the thing. Here we go. Staircase. Here we go. This is what we're talking about. Oh, yeah. This is the way in. This is definitely the way in. Oh, my God. There's nukes going off and all sorts. Oh, no. Spin me gun. Spin me gun. Ah! Did I get them both? Oh, my God. oh, no, I didn't. He's still alive. Bugger off. Oh, Jesus Christ. What the... F Mate, that's not fair, is it? Oh, yeah. No shit, my health pack's low. Oh, I think I might be dead. I think I might be dying. I th I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm dying. Right, I'm not sure how I survived that. That was definitely a man in some pretty rubbish, but still deadly uh, power armor. Can I hit this from here? Oh, nearly. Hold on, hold on, hold on. A little lower. 
Oh, that was terrible. Come on. Oh, that was so close. Okay, I need to hit it now because it's trying to shoot me. There we go. <laughs> right, uh, that was a dude in some in some shitty power armor. Oh, I need to find a chair. You can sit on chairs in this game, and that's the way that you can... What are you barking at? That's the way that you get to wait and progress time until the morning. Is this going to work as a chair? Can I sit on that? Oh, I can. Wait. Yes, right, let's wait till the morning. I don't like it at night time. It's too scary. There we go. That's better. It is now morning. A little bit brighter out here. I'm not as scared when I can see what's going on. Oh, it's raining as well. The rain's not hitting me because I'm under the bridge. That's cool. Well, that's nice. Is this some kind of, like, acid nuclear rain? Probably is, right? Uh, probably shouldn't be out in it. <laughs> but it's okay. I'm sure, I'm sure I've built up enough uh, immunity to radiation poisoning by this point. Ah, okay, I think that is the Corvega assembly plant. That's actually where I'm supposed to be going for the quest that I have, uh, I think. Oh yeah, that's going to be it. It's on my right-hand side there. Okay, yeah, so that's where I'm supposed to go. How do I get there? I have to say, like, the vibes in this game are immaculate. The atmosphere is fantastic. Hello. Fire support, all right. Um, but it isn't running as well, performing as well feeling as good as Skyrim VR with mods. It's not quite on that level, I don't think. Oh my word! That was amazing. I love that. Um, yeah, it, it still feels a little bit jank. I don't think there are enough mods to fully fix this to the point of Skyrim VR. People might come back to it now and keep modding it after the TV show's popularity, but I don't, I don't know. It still needs some work, I would say. Is my dog dead? Nearly. Oh, jeez. Okay. I hate fighting robots. So much more robust. Oh, bloody hell. Come on. Bugger off, handyman. You shit. Ah! You're not voiced by Matt Berry, so I'm not gonna. There we go. I'm not gonna pay you any kindness. And you. Bugger off. Come on, man. Combat's really good, though. It does feel good. And I'm not. Oh, no. Okay, I've ran out of. Oh, who are you? Who's this child? Oh my god! What's going on? There's a, a child turned up. And now... What's... Who are you? What the... F what the fuck? Are you alright? Okay, I can't kill the child, I don't think. He, oh, he's disappeared. He's, fallen, he's, run, he's leaving. He's running off. Can I kill the child? Is that okay? Is that allowed? Come here. Come here, child. He's hiding in the bush. Okay, we can't kill the child. There's probably a mod I can get that will let me kill the child. The bushes are freaking out. They're losing it. All right, uh, I am going to go and do the actual mission. Look at this ridiculous fog that's just rolled in. I cannot see anything. There is a massive building right there. I can't really see it. This is nuts. The weather in this is crazy now. Um, yeah, so whereas Skyrim VR feels like modders have completely fixed that game and fine-tuned it into this pretty much perfect VR experience. This doesn't feel like it's got the same polish to it. This feels like it still needs work. Even with 270-odd mods, um, it doesn't feel like it's on the level of Skyrim VR. Who just spoke to me just then? I'm getting shot out and I don't know where from. Oh my lord. Die. Okay, come on. Oh, my. there's people everywhere. There's people in the fog. There's people in the fog. It's like the film The Mist, but way less interesting. Oh my word, there's people everywhere. Okay, come on. I don't know what's happening. I'm getting shot from somewhere. I need a stim pack. I need a stim pack. Stim pack me up, baby. Stim pack me up. This is the building I'm trying to get into. Where is the door? Hello. Flipping it. There's the door. There's the door. Right, I'm going in. I'm going in. The interiors in this game now look stunning. Absolutely stunning. The interiors look, oh my god, so much nicer than the exteriors. The wasteland looks good, but these inside areas just look absolutely phenomenal. Leveled up. Incredible. Well, yeah, the lighting and stuff is beautiful. Oh my, well, I'm getting demolished. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Stimpak, 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 Stimpak. Right, this is crazy. Okay, come on now. Right, probably need another Stimpak. Die, die, die. Flipping hell, the combat is nuts. Time for bullet time. This is the replacement of Vats. There we go. One head, one head, one head. Make it count, make it count. 
Oh, I missed him, I missed him. Whoa. Oh, jeez. Yes! I cheesed the turret through a gap in the stairs. Holy crap, do any of you have, like, just a single stim pack on you or something? Or maybe some rounds? I'm not doing well. I'm not doing well at all. Stim pack in here. I've got to unlock the bloody thing. Come on. Oh, got dude. It. Nice. What we got? Duct tape. I don't want duct tape. Yeah, man. These interiors look amazing. These are the stars of the show. Outside is great. Don't get me wrong. But in here, it performs better and it does look better as well. Um, yeah, really, really nice inside. Interior areas are crazy. Seriously impressive. Can I go in here? Yep, I can. There's going to be a lot of ammo in here. I'm going to take it all. Hello? Anyone else here? Hello? Oh my god. Oh, jeez. This is so good. It's so atmospheric. So atmospheric. Hello? Flipping heck. Right, uh, empty Nuka Cola. Cool, cool, cool. Hello? Anyone in here? Ooh. Why am I hearing them? Okay, they're close to me, but they're not quite in the same area. There they are. Get him, get him, get him. Oh no, turret, turret. The turret's the deadliest thing. There we go, he's dead, he's dead. Get the turret, get the turret. Flipping heck. Get it through here. Oh, come on. God damn turrets, man. Stimpak. Come on, give me that. Hell yeah. Right, who's... Oh, hello! Chatting shit at me. She was chatting shit, but she died. Chat shit, get banged. They're the rules. You know, this game can look absolutely stunning when it wants to. It's definitely not on par with Skyrim VR that's been fully modded. In my personal opinion. It hasn't reached that same level. But it does look great under the right weather, lighting, performance, circumstances... And I do think modded Fallout 4 in 2024 is a really viable VR experience. It's a great VR experience. Don't get me wrong, you don't have to mod it to have a good time. By all means, if you pick up the game now and play vanilla, you'll likely have a good time. It's still the entirety of Fallout in VR, which is crazy in and of itself. But if you want full body rigs, if you want better UI, if you want a lot of the issues polished out, you will have to mod it. And the mod list that I'll put in the description for this video, it's a one click install. It's very simple to set up. If I can do it, you can do it. I promise you, I'm not super technical. Um, but for me, I did have to disable a bunch of the mods because they were changing what fundamentally makes Fallout feel like Fallout. Changing things like bloat flies into uh, into people and I'm not about that I'm not about these funky weird creatures uh, becoming just generic military men that's that's not fallout to me oh my god this thing's disgusting um, I want the creatures to be as weird as possible I've, oh no I'm dying this thing is killing me um, I want the creatures to be as weird as possible I want it to feel like an irradiated wasteland I want the guns to be all rusty and weird and bodged together. So you will need to disable some of the mods if you don't want this to be converted into a Call of Duty VR survival experience. Um, oh no, there's another one. I really don't like them. Oh no, I'm going to die. Laser gun, laser gun, laser gun. Laser gun will save me from... Oh my god, they're killing my dog. Oh no, I've missed. I, I need to hit these shots. Uh, 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 uh. I don't like them. Oh no! Oh no! Why are you like this? Oh no! Okay. Okay, yeah, I'm dead. I'm dead. I got killed by that thing right there. Radstag! <laughs> and you, come on. Come on, why wouldn't you want to encounter that weird stuff? Why do you just want men? Just generic men with guns. I hate it. That's not Fallout. You're playing a different game. You're playing the wrong game if you're modding the creatures out of Fallout. Hello there. I don't know if that was a friend or a foe. All I know now is that they are a red pile of ash. Okay, so I couldn't make a Fallout VR video and not show at least one death claw. So I've come to the only place where I know I can definitively, definitely find a death claw. And that's the Museum of Witchcraft. Uh, now I just need to get inside, and we can have a little look at a Deathclaw. I am going to die, though, because I'm, like, level 5, and I have a basic double-barrel shotgun. 
um, and a crappy little automatic pipe rifle thing. So yeah, not going to do well, but I want to see one. Right, let's sum this up before it all goes to shit. Fallout 4 VR in 2024 is very, very good with a ton of mods. Down in the description for this video, you will find a link to the Mad Gods overhaul. That's what I'm using today. It's a one-click install using Wabajack. Wabajack will download all the mods and set it all up for you. But I would advise then opening Mod Organizer and disabling tons of them. All the stuff that makes Fallout not feel like Fallout. All the things that are replacing creatures with people and turning these rusty old guns into clean modern guns. If you have the time to mod Fallout 4 VR, you'll have a fantastic time in 2024. It's not quite as good as Skyrim VR. It hasn't reached that kind of perfection, but it is an amazing open world RPG action FPS experience. Let's go and have a look. At a death claw. I'm so flipping scared. This is going to be awesome. Oh, I don't think I've actually done this in VR. Maybe I, ha Maybe I have. I don't know. I can't kill it, right? I have a shotgun. Like a basic bitch shotgun. Vault tech Yes. Yippee. Oh, it's so atmospheric. It is walking along above me right now. It's while the dust is falling down. Okay, how do I get upstairs? Do I even want to get upstairs? Stim pack? Yeah, I'll take a stim pack. Thanks. Um, do I want to go upstairs? Do I want to see the death claw? Probably not. Probably not. Oh, people. Oh, dummies. Oh, bodies. Okay. Shall I kill this guy? Waste of a bullet, really. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Worth it. <laughs> Give me back my shotgun right now. Now, just to be clear, I do not think I can kill this Deathclaw. I am level 5. I have the most basic shotgun you've ever seen. Donk meat's not even here for some reason. And this thing is probably going to kill me in one hit. But I would like to see it. You know, I just want to see one before the video ends. I do have a Hail Mary play, though. Um, I do have a missile launcher with one single missile in it. So maybe I'll just fire that at it and see what happens. Um, that could be fun. I'll probably blow myself up as well. But that's okay. Uh, right, where is where is the death claw? Where, there's dog meat. Oh, dog meat's back. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. It's not messing around. Oh, run through the hole. Oh, no. Missile launcher. Is there, where can I go? So big. Missile it. Take that. Oh my god, it didn't even flinch. It didn't even flinch. Where's my minigun? Where's my minigun? Minigun. Ah! Oh my god, one hit. <laughs> one hit? That's ridiculous. Look at that. It takes it all like a champion. Oh! God. One hit. <laughs> one hit is all it takes. Right, take care everyone. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please do leave a like, leave a comment, hit subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you soon for another one. I cannot kill this death claw, but at least we got to see one. And shoot it right in the face. Go into bullet time. Maybe that's the tr the trick. Oh no. I, I think this little wall here is my best chance. And even th uh, even then it's not good. Oh good lord. I can kind of cheese him on the wall, but if he hits me once I'm dead. Oh, no. Uh, missile launcher. Missile launcher. I need the missile launcher. Oh, no. He's going to get me. Oh, he got me. That was the, probably the best one I've done so far. Start with a missile. Whoa. Straight to the machine gun. Go. How did the missile miss? How did that missile miss? Whoa! Yeah! Yeah! You're gonna die! You're gonna die! You're gonna die! You're gonna die! Please die! Oh! He didn't die. That was the best one. Right, I'm quitting. He's too strong for me. Amazing.